What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at the newly updated fork of the Stable Diffusion Forge Web UI, now known as Stable Diffusion Forge Web UI Neo. This is fantastic news for so many of us in the community, especially those who were accustomed to using the original Stable Diffusion Automatic 11 project. The original Forge Web UI, created by the talented L. Liasfeel, was an amazing tool that brought a lot of optimizations and new features to the table. Unfortunately, the project became inactive after L. Liasfeel stepped away from active development. But now, with the release of Forge Web UI Neo, the project has a new lease on life. This new version is not just a continuation, it's a significant step forward, bringing with it support for some of the latest and greatest in AI image and video generation. We're talking about models like WAN 2.2, which allows for text-to-image, image-to-image, text-to-video, and image-to-video generation. On top of that, it includes Nunchaku, with Flux and Flux Context tools for advanced inpainting and image manipulation. The Neo version is built upon the very latest Forge release, focusing on these new capabilities and now even has an integrated video player. So, for those of you who want the most up-to-date tools for creating stunning multimedia content within the stable diffusion ecosystem, Forge Neo is where it's at. It's designed for better resource management and faster performance, which is always a plus. Now, I know what you might be thinking, this sounds like it may be too complicated to set up. But I promise you, the installation is actually quite simple, and I'll walk you through how to get it all up and running locally on your Windows machine. And for my Patreon members, I've put together a special one-click Windows installer. This package will automatically install Forge Web UI Neo, along with Python 3.11, Sage, and Flash Attention with Triton. It's everything you need to get started without any of the hassle. You can find that over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. Alright, let's get this set up on your machine. The first thing you're going to want to do if you don't have it installed already is to grab Python 3.11. You can find the correct download for your operating system by simply doing a quick Google search and heading over to the python.org website. I'll also make sure to leave a direct link for you down in the description. Next, you'll need to make sure you have Git installed. Git is what allows us to easily download and manage projects from GitHub. If you're not sure if you have it, just open up a search engine and look for Git download. You'll want to click on the official link for the Git CM website, then download and run the installer for your OS. Once you have Git ready to go, it's time to clone the stable Diffusion Web UI Forge Neo project. Head over to its GitHub repository and again, the link for that will be waiting for you in the description below. On that page, scroll down to the installation section and find the git clone command. You'll want to copy that specific command. It's really important that you use this exact one, as it makes sure you're installing the Neo branch of the repository. This is the branch that contains all the new features and support for the latest models we talked about. The normal classic main branch is more of an archive built on an older, stable version of Forge, and it won't have these cutting-edge additions. Find or create a folder on your device where you want to host the project, then open a command terminal in that folder. Paste the command you copied from the repository into the terminal and press enter to clone the repo into that folder. After the repository has been cloned to your computer, open up the new folder it created. Inside, you'll find a file called webui-user.bat. Just double-click that file to get things started. Now this is the same file you'll use to launch the project every time, but for the very first run, it will kick off the installation process. It's going to download and set up all the dependencies needed to run Forge Neo locally. This part might take a little while, maybe around 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet speed, so just let it do its thing. Once it's all finished, the web UI will automatically open up in your web browser, taking you right to the Forge Neo interface. Now if you've used the standard stable Diffusion Automatic 11 UI before, 
this will look pretty familiar but with a few key additions. Let's walk through an example. Say you want to use the Flux Dev Nunchaku model, which is probably the fastest way right now to run Flux Dev while still getting excellent quality thanks to its unique quantization method. First, you'll need to download the model file and place it inside the Stable Diffusion Models folder. Then, you'll have a couple of clip text encoder models like the T5FP8 and Clip L models, those need to go into the text encoder models folder. And finally, the regular Flux VAE model file goes right into the VAE models folder. With all the files in the right place, head back to the user interface. Look at the top menu and you'll see a drop-down for UI presets. You'll want to select Flux from that list. This will configure the UI for this specific workflow. From there, you can select your main checkpoint model, which in this case is the Flux Dev Nunchaku model. But here's where things are a little different. When you go to select your VAE and text encoder models, you'll notice they share the same model selector tab. In that VAE text encoders dropdown, you need to select all the required models at once. So you'll select both of the clip text encoders for Flux Dev, that's the Clip L and the TS FP8 models, and you'll also select the Flux VAE model from that same list. After that, everything is pretty straightforward. I would recommend not changing any of the other pre-configured settings in that top menu as they are already optimized for your hardware. You can now move on to the fun part, writing your image generation prompt and adjusting your settings like resolution and sampling method. If you want to use LoRaws in your workflow, just place your LoRaw files into the LoRaws model folder. Back in the UI, under the generation settings, you'll see a LoRaws submenu. You might need to hit refresh, but then you can simply click on the LoRa you want to use and its tag will be automatically added to your prompt. Then just click generate and watch it create. If you ever need more detailed instructions for running other models, the GitHub repository is an excellent resource with more in-depth information. So that's a look at the exciting new Stable Diffusion Forge Web UI Neo, how to get it installed, and a quick guide on how to get started with powerful new models like Flux. It's a fantastic continuation of a beloved project and opens up a ton of new creative possibilities for all of us. As a final reminder for my supporters, that one click Windows installer, which also includes Sage and Flash Attention with Triton for a potential boost in generation speed, is available for you over on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.